The Isle of Man, famous for bike racing and cats with no tails, and home to the proud Manx people. And that's the way they want to keep it. The Manx are very protective about the Isle of Man, very, very fiercely independent. They don't like the UK, they don't like Ireland, they don't like anywhere around them. They think the Isle of Man's for Manx people. I must really hate people from the mainland. If you think that Britain is, we've got an island mentality anyway, you know, we're constantly watching their borders. On their island, it must be a hundred times worse because they don't even want us there. Still, most islanders have accepted their fate. But there is a pub determined to make a last stand against the marauding invaders. The Heron, on the Anacor estate in Douglas. You won't stand any mess in the Manx people. They're, this is their island, like, and fucking, that's it. It's great to be Manx. Manx is Manx. To be Manx is something... It is inbred. If the tourist board were handing out awards for the unfriendliest local, this charming purpose-built boozer would surely win first prize. If you're looking for trouble, if you ever come to the heaven, you can, you can get it like. As long as I've known it's a working man's pub, that's the way I treat it, a proper pub. Not none of these fucking wine bar and all that crap. The population is something like 72,000 people. And they say 72,000 uh, 72, alcoholics clinging to a fucking rock. And on a small island, people like to keep abreast of each other's business. Everybody knows everyone else. You shit yourself in this pub today. Don't know about it tomorrow in Ramsey. Don't know your name, how it happened, how big it was. So it's no wonder they're suspicious of outsiders. And boy, are they suspicious of outsiders. Come over to people who've moved to the Isle of Man to come and work. Um, it's got a huge net inward migration. Um, there is a little bit of friction between some of the Manx over here, between the people who were born and bred on the island and the people who have moved over to work. The amount of people who are coming in from foreign lands, we are becoming overrun. I don't want to be fucking called something that I'm not, because I'm Manx, and I am fucking proud to be Manx. And that'll come over. Colin Hawley has been running the harem for three years, and he's in no doubt what makes the Manx people so tough. We had the birch here for over a hundred years. You know what I mean? That was a deterrent, because anybody got the birch, you never went back for another whack. It used to rip your ass to bits, did it? I mean, torn to shreds, your ass, bare backside, and that was it, crap. And then some do-gooder from Strag's Bird caught human rights, stopped and doing it. And that's where all the trouble started now. The threat of being thrashed with a bunch of twigs may have gone. But the Herons regulars have discovered their own old-fashioned deterrent. 93-year-old Frank. How old were you the last time you got barred from a pub? 91. <laughs> You're right, I had a fight. He doesn't like English people. He doesn't like Scottish people. He doesn't like Irish people. He doesn't like Welsh people. Yeah, he's all the fucking cheering, frogs and all that. No wonder your grass is green in your place, you're all over and out, standing on our fucking grass. That's his attitude, you know. Hey, what else grab today? Right. The classic characters in Tough Pubs are the, the simmering old man who's at the corner and you walk in and you might be at the complete other end of the pub, minding your own business. You might not even move. And, uh, you know, these are people who can start fights in lifts, you know. Always up for it, wise and bitter, twisted. Probably what we all end up being anyway. No, no more fucking rum for you, boy. When a stranger comes into his pub, Frank likes to employ the subtle art of interrogation. Could you always kick off when you got, got the rum in your neck? I don't kick you off. You do, you do, Frank. After a few rums, you know, it will pass them. Bump, you know, bump into them. Where are you fucking from, like? You know what I mean? Uh, you're not fucking man. So what, what, what are you doing on the other man? And if that doesn't work, he's not above using a bit of gentle coercion. This young fella pushes in, in their friend sits and he says, what do you think you're fucking doing? Like, next minute, I'm standing about three foot away, bang, Frank stuck there on him. and down he went, like a bag of shite. Like a bag of shite, just out cold. Don't stop fighting now, fella! You're full of shit. And if old Frank doesn't sort you out, the ladies at the Heron are happy to take care of you.
I love ginger balls. Once, Manx woman Leslie bumped into an outsider on the way to the loo. On my way back from the toilet, some guy pushed into me and said, excuse me, and he went, no, you're in my way. So he pushed me again, I pushed him back, and he pushed me, so I, I knocked him down to the ground. I jumped on him. I did, I fucking fire. I battered him. I jumped on him and I fucking kicked his head in. Lovely. A woman after Big Frank's heart. <laughs> the Heron on the Isle of Man, where if you come over, you'll never leave.